All right, so had a patron supporter want to know how to keep the conversation going when he's talking to a girl, whether on the phone, um, through texting, or on a date. All right, guys. So first thing you need to know is, right off the bat, she should be doing 90% of the talking at least. All right, you doing 10%. Why do I advocate that? Because the more you fucking talk, the more you run the risk of talking your ass out the pussy. All right, so I want you to look at it as in uh, talking to the police. All right, you ever see how your lawyer? If you if any of you guys watch Law and Order, you see how the uh, lawyer always tells the client he don't want them talking to the police because he already knows the more you talk, the more you run the risk of fucking yourself up. All right, the more you run the risk of talking yourself convicting your own goddamn self all right what all they're gonna do is the same thing the girl gonna do they're gonna try to box your ass into a story and then they're gonna come back and they're gonna ask you some of the same shit and anything don't line up she can lose interest so it's just best to remain mysterious as possible the more you talk the more you run the risk of fucking up all right so just shut the fuck up and ask questions now i had a skype session with a guy about a week ago who said that and, and this is true so you gotta this is key when, let's hypothetically say we're on a date now. We ain't on the phone. We're on a date. And sometimes in the, in the midst of talking, the conversation, you can see the sexual tension leave and it enters more of a friendly vibe. The reason that is, guys, is because you're losing your masculine frame, all right? You're losing your seductive masculine frame, all right? You're entering a feminine frame. And what do I, what I mean by that? Let's hypothetically say we're talking right here. And what I want to do is I'm, a, I'm always maintaining a frame. Just because we conversate no mean that it's time for me to act like I'm a homeboy. All right? I'm still in my masculine, sexy frame. So hypothetically, let's say she's sitting right there, and I would say something to the effect of, so when was the last time you went on vacation? Now, you see, I ain't say. So when was the last time you went on vacation? You see the type of difference of energy? You see how high pitch? You see how much of a friendly vibe that second one was? How it left the sexy, masculine, calm, cool, laid-back demeanor to a high-pitched, homeboy-type feeling? See, guys, just because you're having a conversation don't mean you can leave masculine frame, all right? Now, some guys going to try to go on these dates and be too fucking cool and too laid-back. You got to fucking talk because if the woman find you boring, listen, you could be mysterious and you could be boring, all right? The line is this fucking thing between being mysterious and boring. Mysterious is, <clears throat> I know how to lead the conversation. I know how to talk and maintain my masculine frame. Boring is, I'm going to sit my ass up back up here and look like I'm fucking Jason Voorhees on a date and sit all quiet like I don't know how to fucking open my mouth, all right? That's not good either, guys. So you got to talk, but you want to lead her on, all right? Learn how to ask follow-up questions. Hypothetically, say something to the effect, oh, so you went to Jamaica. Oh, okay. All right. Jamaica, huh? So you was um wearing a little tight bikini, huh? A little sexy bikini. Uh, uh. What kind of oh, what kind of two-piece, one piece? Now y'all see how I maintain frame on that? I'm calm. Now I'm gonna say that same thing. I'm finna lose frame and this finna enter into like a friendly vibe and the sexual tension goes right out the window. Jamaica, you was in Jamaica? Oh man, that sounds like fun. Oh man, I always wanted to go to Jamaica. Oh, man, when you went to Jamaica? Oh, man, yeah, that's good. Y'all went swimming? All right. You see how one frame is sexy and seductive? I maintain frame. And how the other one is like a friendly vibe where I lost frame and I enter like a feminine state or like a goofy, corny state. Like the, the sexual attention just flows right on out the window, guys. So you got to maintain your masculine frame, all right? You can't be quiet. You got to fucking talk, but you smooth and you seductive, all right? Don't get over hyper. Uh, see, one of the reasons why you seen that second one, how I would get into that frame, because I'm nervous, all right? I'm nervous. When you get nervous, that's how you enter into that whole high pitch. That's nerves, all right? That's what happens when you're nervous. This one is, I'm cool and I'm calm. Now, this all goes back to what I was telling you guys. You can't, it's only, listen, you can only fake high value so much before it comes out, 
All right. If you're a true high value male and you're really on your purpose and you're really in the gym and you dress nice and you smell good and your shit together, you're gonna be you gonna it, it's gonna be easier for you to maintain frame because you're gonna have more of an abundance mindset because you got more shit going for yourself. It all comes back to mentality. If I feel good about myself, it's gonna be easy for me to stay calm, cool, collected, and chill back and maintain that frame. If I'm nervous and I really feel like, and I've been faking high value, and when I say faking high value, I mean that the reason I've been returning her texts five hours later is not because I'm on my purpose, it's because I'm rubbing my fucking balls trying to act like I'm a high value male. You y'all guys get that? All right, that's a fake high value male. All right, so I'm done telling you guys fake it till you make it. All right, fuck that fake it till you make it shit. I told y'all guys that shit at the end of last year. This year here, we done with that fake shit, all right? When you a true high-value male, you're going to be able to maintain that masculine frame, that, cis, that entitled frame because you really, really, truly believe that you're entitled to her. So you're going to be able to remain calm, all right? Why? Because you got your shit together. I look good. So I feel, I feel like I deserve to be here. All right, if you feel like you lucky to be in this woman's presence, that's when you're going to enter that nervous frame. Yeah? Oh, man, that's great. How long you been working at your job? You see how much of a friendly vibe that carries? You see, because I'm nervous. I'm nervous as shit. So I don't want to do nothing wrong. So that's why my voice get high in the motherfucker. All right, that's nerves. All right, that's what happens when you you nervous. Your voice get high as fuck. All right, you start talking too fucking fast. Now, I'm going to enter the corny stage. I'm corny because I'm fucking nervous. All right, so... Guys, it's important that you get your shit together and focus on your purpose because all that's going to help you maintain frame. It's going to be hard to maintain that fucking frame if you truly don't believe you belong there. All right? It's just that fucking simple, guys. Now, here's the thing. A guy asked me about texting a girl on the phone and all this shit. Well, here's the thing, guys. I tell you guys uh, not to text girls at the, at the very least. You know, try to set up a time. Now, let's hypothetically say that this is a, a masculine girl, right? Or a low interest girl. Well, that can't be because masculine women and low interest women, they don't initiate contact, all right? They want you to do every fucking thing, all right? So instantly, I know this is a feminine woman or a woman with high interest, all right? Because a masculine woman wants you to chase her 24 seven. So she ain't gonna reach out to you first. And a high, a low interest bitch damn sure ain't cause she got fucking low interest. And matter of fact, when you reach out to her, she gonna have all these one word replies. Uh-huh, okay, LOL, all that bullshit, all right? So if a woman is reaching out to you and she texting you, good fucking job. You're dealing with either a feminine woman or a woman with high interest, all right? If she's initiating contact, good fucking job. Now, here's the thing. You don't want her to lose interest by you being so fucking available. So the thing is, you got to wait four, five hours. Waiting this four, five hours... And like I said, I want you really on your fucking purpose. Don't be in the fucking house playing Madden, rubbing your fucking balls, looking at the phone, talking about some, oh, I'll return her text in five hours so I can act like I'm fucking busy. Motherfucker, get your ass up and get busy. All right, but here's the thing. You still want to wait four or five hours to respond to her text because what you're trying to do is you want her to not think you're so easily available. All right, so you want to respond to the text later all right but you will respond and then when you do respond if she try to respond right back what you do is set up a time so you can call on the phone the reason why you guys don't want to be fucking texting man is because when you text and don't nobody know the context of what you saying something all right so you can say something and mean it one way and somebody can interpret it the wrong way all right and you can turn a woman off that way because she didn't know how the fucking you meant that all right or sometimes people just take shit wrong and then spell proof the shit and you can fucking read it wrong because they didn't spell proof it all right so that's why you don't want to text because you have a you can always run a risk of getting a miscommunication so set up a time if she's a high interest woman set up a time where you can talk to her on the phone and and unless it's like a first phone conversation or something like that if y'all been talking or something like that you want to talk like five or ten minutes and here's the thing guys if it's a high interest woman or a feminine woman you know, a lot of these games and techniques shit you don't really need, all right? Because she's feminine or she got high interest, all right? The techniques I give you guys is because I know that's not the average woman, all right? 
90% of women are not going to be feminine. 90% of women are not going to be high interest. The average woman you meet is going to have a, she could take it or leave it attitude, or she's going to be read some feminism book that told her to make you chase her 24-7. All right? So if you do got a woman who want to talk to you on the phone, what does that tell you? That tells you she has high interest or she's feminine. And when I say feminine, that means she hasn't been schooled by one of these feminist ass books that told her she should do this, she should do that, make you chase, kiss her boots, lick her boots, tie her shoes, all this bullshit. All right, so that way, if you got a woman that's doing this, you know she has high interest or she's feminine. All right, so here's the thing. Set up a time to talk. Now, what's the one thing about women that we all know that got high interest? What do we know about them? They talk their fucking mouth off. When a woman got high interest in you, she runs her fucking mouth because she's high interest. If you with a woman and you finding yourself hard to make a conversation, then you know this woman got low interest, all right, or something. Because when a woman has high interest, she'll talk your fucking hell. You got to tell a bitch to shut the fuck up, all right? I got a girl that come over here on Sunday. I find myself constantly tell her, girl, be quiet. She won't shut the fuck up because she's crazy about me, all right? I just tell her all the time. She'll just start talking about some random shit, and I'll just say, girl, be quiet. You know what I'm saying? I don't mean to be harmful now, but her interest is so high in me, she won't shut her fucking mouth. All right? So if you got a woman that's quiet with you and you find yourself having to pull teeth to get some conversation out of this bitch, what does the fuck that tell you? All right? What does that tell you? All right? It's time to kick in the high value mode. All right? The high value mode is you got to pull the fuck back till she come towards you. All right? Or move the fuck on. All right? Move the fuck on. And I'll explain what my high value moves is in detail a little bit more to explain that, but you basically got to back up. Either she come to you or you move on, all right? That's the bottom line, guys, all right? That's the bottom fucking line. That's the point of high value shit, all right? But if you got a woman that got high interest in you, you should not have that hard of a time to make conversation, all right? If you, because here's the thing. A girl that really likes you, man, you say one little fucking thing, she run out the mouth for about 10 fucking minutes on that same fucking subject. All right? So that shouldn't be that fucking hard. All right? But the main thing I want you guys to make to remember, because to keep the conversation going, is to maintain frame. All right? And if you find yourself having to constantly come up with topics and she ain't trying to contribute, you got a woman with low interest. All right? So in that inst instance right there, I probably want to end the date and pull back a little bit. All right, because women with high interest, man, you ask them one thing, you ask them where they see themselves five years from now, and that could turn into a 20 minute conversation, literally. All right, and also, somebody, a guy had asked me about when a woman asked you, when was the last time you had sex? Guys, this sex thing, when a woman asks you when the last time you had sex, and are you sleeping with anybody right now? You always tell a woman that's personal and you don't talk about that. Just that simple, guys. Don't get into that. If she asks you if you're dating somebody, always say yeah. Even if you ain't, say yeah, you dating people, but you keeping your options open or something, something to that effect. You know, me, myself, I just like to say I like to take my time. Some people like to say I'm keeping my options open, but I like to say I like to take my time, make sure I make the right decisions. All right. So never anything dealing with sex, always say, you know, I don't discuss my personal business. And say it in a joking way. Don't get it butt all butt hurt when, if a woman asks you some shit like that. Just say something to the effect of, damn, you want my bank statement too? Jesus Christ, that's personal. Like, make it jokingly, all right? Don't get all butt Like, God damn, y'all in my business. Don't, don't, I tell you guys, never carry that kind of emotion with a woman. It's a turnoff, all right? Calm, cool, collected in a joking way. Like, damn, you want my bank statement too? Jesus Christ. That's personal. I don't discuss that type of stuff, baby. You know what I'm saying? I don't discuss that. That's personal information. I don't want to know your sex history. So, you know, that's personal right there. I don't discuss that. Change the fucking subject. How about them Yankees? How about them Cowboys? Change the fucking subject. Get off that shit. All right? That's a sticky situation. All right? If you want to be one of these direct guys who listen to one of these dating coaches tell you, you know, you want some more points because you told a woman the truth, you go right off fucking head. All I want to do is fuck. I done told you motherfuckers this shit more than one time. I don't care nothing about no more points. I told her the truth. I'm a real man. Who gives a flying fuck? I just want to fuck. By hook or by crook. All right? All right, guys. So that's the main thing I want to talk to you guys about. Maintain masculine uh, frame when you talking to these girls on these uh, dates. Talk about... TV shows, talk about the Game of Thrones. That's a 20 minute conversation right there. Talk about the Game of Thrones. Talk about fucking The Walking Dead. Talk about, ask her, do she like sports? Ask her what her team is. Every girl, even if they don't follow sports, they got some kind of team basketball team or co uh, pro football team, something. Even if they don't really watch them like that, talk about that shit, all right? Talk about vacation, talk about her job, what made her get into that shit. 
the thing is, is you guys got to understand if you worried about losing the sexual attention, the thing is to remain, maintain the frame. All right. It ain't the topics. It's the frame. You could talk about this goddamn clock right here. If you're going to maintain frame. Yeah. So that clock, that motherfucker, that motherfucker tick good on it. Yeah. That motherfucker keep time real good, don't it? Yeah. I bet that alarm sound real good. What kind of clock that is? That's a nice clock. You see how I lost frame? All right, you see how all the sexual tension went right on out the fucking window? You see how Goma Pile came out this motherfucker, dude? You sound, think a girl want to fuck something like that? All right, you know why? I'm nervous. I'm nervous, and I'm now I'm nervous about fucking this up. All right? She can sense that. That's why the sexual tension leaves. A woman knows you're nervous. If you're on a date, a woman will be looking at your hands a whole lot. She'll, if you ever go on a date, watch how a woman look at your hands. Watch how she's looking at your legs. She, they subconsciously looking for nerves. All right? Nerves let a woman know right off the bat that I'm probably out your league, that you probably don't get a whole lot of dates, that you probably ain't getting a whole lot of ass. All right? That's the bottom fucking line, guys. Which also makes me ask... Kind of made me think why a woman asked you when the last time you had sex. You probably acting like a dude who don't get a whole lot of sex. All right? Because I don't get those questions no more. But when I did, I knew not to answer them. All right, guys. That's it right there, man. Like the video. Comment down below what you want to uh, talk about, what me talk about next. Maintain masculine frame. And tell these bitch, mind your fucking business. Ain't none of your goddamn business when the last time I had sex. Don't say it like that, but y'all know what I mean. Like the video, comment down below. Holla back.